Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. So hey there, and I know that you know this car, it's Dodge Neo 05, and you think, why am I standing next to this car? Because there have been so many car reviews on YouTube, that's supposed to tell you what this car is, what this car problem. But no, people on this is not honest, and they don't tell you what's the real truth about this car. Really? So, I want to tell you a story, how did I get this car for review? Uh, most of these people who own this car are students, right? And they do not have money to fix this car. Change oil 10-15 thousand miles, that's fine. Never change spark plugs, belts, suspension, what suspension is. They never do anything to this car because they don't have money. So, do you expect this car to be very reliable? And you can ask me, so what? Why this car is dirty? No one washes this car. No one cares about this car. And you say, no, but I do care about this car. People who made this car didn't care about this car. And I'll tell you later why. So today, I want to make this car a favor and show love to this car. And I want to wash it. You might think that I hate this car, but no, I don't. Google hates it, you can say it, because when you Google Dodge Neo, First, you're gonna see it's the problems. Problems is engine and transmission. And of course, we're gonna talk right now about engine. No, God! So, let's talk about engine. It's gonna be fun, guys. Oh, yeah. First, when you open it, you realize you can really take everything apart in this car, and it's normal. You might ask, you wanna what, check engine oil? You don't need to check check engine oil in this car. You might check transmission fluid in this car. You don't need to do it. Why do you need it? It's neon. It's made to struggle. Why would you check oil? Just take it apart and throw it away. Just relax, man. Yeah, it has some type of fluid here. Brake fluid, wash fluid, power steering fluid. Why do you need to know about it? You're never gonna refill anything. And you're never gonna change anything in this engine. This engine made to struggle. This car has 140,000 miles. And never, no one never changed spark plugs in this car. What are you talking about? Oil change? No, maybe 10,000 miles. I don't know why they're even here. I think if you take them apart and put like flashlight here, it's gonna work better. This light, horrible. You don't see anything. You blind at night. And you think, oh, Vlad, maybe you need to change bulbs in this car. Yes, I did change bulbs in this car. You know what? Nothing really changed in this car at all. It was blind and it's still blind because this lens is stupid, it's freaking bug eyes. And if you think it's pretty, you have a problem. Uh, I want to really stop talking about this because it's pain. Let's talk about body, let's talk about how safe this car is. So, you might think, I'm mean to this car. It's just a small little, little cute bug and I'm so mean to it. But what if I tell you that Insurance Institute of Highway Safety gave this crap the lowest grade? What does it mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna explain it to you because I like you. I don't want you. To, I want you to be informed, not like other car review guys who's gonna tell you, oh, this is so good, reliable car. No, if you wreck this car on 42 miles per hour, very big chance that you're gonna be dead. Man, it's just 42 miles per hour. Oh. Let's talk about interior. And again, I do understand that this car is not a luxury car. But I want some common sense in this car. Let's talk first about this dashboard. It's like in horror movie sound. If I press a little bit harder, all this dashboard gonna pop out. I have problem, right? Not a big deal again, it's just me. Now, let's talk about this. Heater and AC. This heater has only one mode. Hell mode was gonna burn you. And no heat at all. So you know how we drive in this car in winter? That's not usual neon driver looks like. And you think, maybe AC is different. No man, AC is the same. So you put AC on and you drive the same. You're a freaking DJ in the party. Now let's see what we have here. 
owner of this car has hand warmer there. And you think, why would you have hand warmer in the car? That's because you drive all like this, full heat, or no heat at all. That's miserable to be in this car when it's cold, because it's or hot or cold. Well, 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 guys, honestly, not everything is bad in this car. What? Talk about radio. Honestly, music in this car, not too bad. Not too bad. I agree. Not the most horrible music. So, yeah, that's a good part. Now let's see how comfortable is this car in this interior. You see, this car has cup holders. Accurate. Do you hear me? This car costs two times less than your car. And you have one cup holder, he has three cup holders. Neon, you beat you in this game. Think about it. So, you you might stay with some neon in the traffic, right? And you will be wondering, why this car is jerking like this all the time? Maybe the owner of this car is a new driver, doesn't have experience. It has nothing to do with experience. It has something to do with that this gas pedal has only two modes. Jerk and don't go anywhere. So, all your passengers in the car are going to experience this all the time and hit their heads. That, yeah, because no one loves you. No one loves this car. And people who made this car don't, doesn't love you. Let's talk about braking. This car has ABS, ABS in this car. So why in this case this ABS doesn't work? Yeah, I'm being serious. Person who owns this car slide multiple times in a wet road. ABS? Okay. Let's talk about braking. This brake has two modes. Complete brake and don't brake at all. Seriously, if you push it a little bit, it breaks it, like like you push this uh, pedal all the way down. Like, it's a very nervous car. So, you know how it, how it usually goes in this car? Like this acceleration, like this is braking. That's reality. And last thing I want to say about this interior. Come here. What is it? Hey, Dodge Neon, why do you have it? So, in conclusion. My camera guy did not believe this car drive like this, that it's crazy gas, crazy brake. And he was really surprised that this car drive like this. You nervous in this car all the time. And you see, I showed love to this car. I washed this car today. I, I told you guys the truth, what this car is and what reality is. Again, it's not that bad of a car. But the way people describe this car on YouTube, like this car is perfect, doesn't have a problem, it pisses me off. Because nowadays, people try to be nice to you and don't tell, don't tell you the truth. Yeah, I might have accent, guys. You might have a hard time to understand me. But honestly, I want to be honest to you and tell you the real truth about cars. Not just be nice to it and nice to you and don't hurt your feelings if you own it. If you own it, you still you know all, the, all of this. Most of these things that I told you guys, owner of this car told me. So. If you have any questions or you want to tell me about my bad car review and how horrible person I, person I am, leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching.